There's something I really wanted to do. Oh yeah, I wanted to watch hardcore WoW videos. I'm getting kind of hyped up for it again. Oh, also Sardako sent this video. I haven't watched it yet and I'm curious. Half Since I'm on the subject, I should watch this now. Only fangs should use these rules. I'm curious to see what he says. Really quickly, I want to talk about the only fangs rules. I want to nail this down because I want to pitch this to Soda Poppin. And I want to know if, if, if what he thinks about this. Only fangs will be a guild self found fake fresh guild. No use of the auction house. <laughs> fake fresh. Okay. <laughs> you can only group with self found buffed players 1 to 59. Once you hit 60, uh, you can group with anyone. Uh, the, the third rule. Okay, so you can group with anyone in the guild, or you can also group with self-found buffed players. So they have to have the self-found buff. I like that. No Anixia buffs until we kill Anixia. No Ani buff until we kill Anixia. I mean, I would say just, yeah, sure. Like, what's the big deal? But I don't really, I, I feel like I enjoy, at least for the leveling phase, obviously at max level, we should just ban the Anixia buff. Like when we're killing Anixia for the first time, no Anixia buff. But for the leveling phase, it's it adds dopamine. It, it adds dopamine to have it and to like get into the city and to get it. It's not going to make a big deal in the leveling. So I don't want to take that away. I also don't want to stress people out with too many rules. Be like, can I do this? Oh, can I do that? Uh... But yeah, I don't think I want to do that for the leveling phase. No ZG buff until we kill Hakar. I, I agree with at max level, no Ani buff, no Hakar buff. But leveling, I think we just let it happen because it's... I don't remember anyone like, I'm not going to level till I get my ZG buff. Uh, no, not till like, I'm not, I don't know if I want to do that. ZG will unlock after we've cleared Molten Core, and AQ20 will unlock after we've cleared BWL. AQ20 after BWL? Bro! <laughs> Ooh. Okay, maybe. All first crafting patterns have to be found on stream. Now this means if somebody randomly says, hey, I got the petrification flask, we need to see the clip of you looting it and what mob you killed to get it. You can't just randomly show up one day and be like, yeah, we found the Petri recipe. This will ensure that no one is buying or trading it off the auction house. We need actual proof um, that somebody in the guild looted it on their own, right? It's a self-sustained ecosystem uh, within the guild. Mob tagging is not allowed unless... Okay, so if I'm understanding this correctly, when we're max level, we cannot buy Petri flasks from the auction house. Because we're max level, so it's no more cell found, so now the auction house is unlocked. You cannot buy Petri flasks unless someone in the guild has found that recipe and there's proof of it at the very least is that correct okay the only i i like that but the downside once we open up that door once we do that now before you use we're, we're gonna have to set up a google doc of allowed things and not allowed things and there's a lot of things in WoW. So there's going to be a lot of red and then little sliver of green. Hey, here's a clip. Here it is. And then a lot of red as you're going down. Oh, hey, Petri. It's green. Okay, cool. So if we unlock that door, that's where we're at now. Leveling, not a big deal. You're not allowed to use the auction house, but you see the issues. Um, and yeah, with some people are going to be max level and let's say they want to give four agility elixirs to some low levels in our guild, right? Um, that's fine, but you got to check the Google. It's just going to be annoying, but that can be done. Not a big deal. 
after a death, the Council of Tears approves that you will be allowed to mob tag to get back to... <laughs> Wait, wait, what? <laughs> wait, where, where are we? What's going on? You can't just randomly show up one day and be like, yeah, we found the Petri recipe. This will ensure that no one is buying or trading it off the auction house. We need actual proof um, that somebody in the guild looted it on their own, right? It's a self-sustained ecosystem uh, within the guild. Sure. Mob tagging is not allowed unless after a death... The Council of Tears approves that you will be allowed to mob tag to get back to your uh, last highest level. Now, a type of approval that the Council of Tears would approve is something like you DC'd and then died to a mob. And so this death wasn't your fault. So they're allowing you to mob tag back to your last level if you died to like a DC. Uh, but it has to be approved. And there's a chance that maybe the Council doesn't approve any of these. But Soda needs to come up with who would be on the council and who would review the cases uh, to see if people would be. <laughs> who came up with the Council of Tears? The what? Okay. Allowed to mob tag or not. Okay. Number eight. Wow mains must have their class and spec approved by Soda. Number nine. Trading in guild will become unlocked at level 60. And All right. So... I talked with Novak last night, and uh, I had a wonderful idea. So instead of spinning a wheel to pick the main for all of the sweats in this guild, we're going to do something different. We're going to have a quiz. And this quiz is going to determine what class you get. Now, we're going to have, just like the furry quiz, where you're selected an otter or whatever, and the questions are going to be things like, what's your favorite color? Now, you can really try and think deep on these questions. If you want to play Warlock, answer it how you best think a Warlock would answer. But what you get is what you're going to play. And I'm going to be the one calculating, maybe not me, but Novak, myself, and maybe a couple others are going to be the ones calculating what question gives what or what answer gives what points um what's your favorite animal and it's going to be like an otter or a squirrel like it's going to be multiple choice that is how your classes the sweats are going to be picked again you can take these quizzes on stream i don't care doesn't matter um you can try and get warrior if you want to play warrior but if you take the quiz you have to play what you get no exception you're locked in. Just like if we spun the wheel. Um, to an extent, it's a glorified wheel with the potential for you to overthink it. That's what it's aiming to be. And trading with Fangsley can be done at 60, but only consumables and materials. Those are the 10 rules that I have come up with with the chat that I think would make the OnlyFangs reboot experience. Okay. Hmm. So we're not allowed to use the auction house even at max level? I'm confused. Okay. So no auction house even at max level. Okay. And Fangsley is going to be considered able to trade with us. We're going to have to make sure everyone in Fangsley has the add-on. They're not allowed to use the auction house either. Um, and we can trade with them at max level. Okay. But they also can't use the auction house, yada yada. My only thing that I, I, I like all the rules. They're all fine. Um, I'm probably going to want to discuss this on the 21st with everyone else, bring it up with them. Uh, I do want this to be really hard. Um, we barely scraped by doing not SSF. Um, sure, Molten Core was easy. Like, you watch Molten Core, and it was a joke. But we barely got all of our non-sweats to max level. Barely. And we only did it with mob tagging. So by taking all of that away, 
the mob tagging mainly. I, I guess it kind of is still there based on that rule. But then also making it SSF and Horde. I'm worried the leveling might be too hard for them. Um, but maybe we just say fuck it and just go anyways. Um, what was the other issue? Oh, yeah. No AQ20 until BWL is cleared. I was going to say AQ20 unlocks after Anixia ZG and MC Anixia ZG and MC are cleared AQ20 unlocks that's what I was going to do it was going to be um so dungeons like MC unlocks after ZG and or no let's do like what's an order here what is the first raid that's not locked at all by anything? What is the first raid? There's got to be an order here. MC first. Okay, Molten Core's first. Oh, fuck. So no Anixia gear. No. Oh, wow. Okay, Molten Core is just whatever. After Molten Core is cleared, I was going to do ZG and Anixia unlock. And once ZG and Anixia are unlocked, AQ20 unlocks. Then BWL unlocks. And then from there, it's just... That's it. Like, this is the order. Uh, Ani and MC are the same release, right? They kind of are. B, uh, you're right. BWL is before AQ20. But I'm not thinking about, like, what is the actual release date of Classic. I'm thinking, what would be best for our guild? Um, I do think that being able to farm AQ20 gear is good. I think BWL is going to be plenty hard enough, especially with the fucking bomb people. Like, it is... I, I don't want to, like... I, I hate that when I said B Molten Core is going to be hard and it was such a joke. It's my fault. To an, it's not my fault, it's... The fault of the gear really did make MC a joke. I don't think this gear from these three raids is going to make BWL a joke. I do not. I, I don't think this is the case. Y'all destroyed MC. Yeah, it was gross. Um, and that's because there's reasons why I allowed AQ20, ZG, and Anixia before Molten Core. And it was because we had tons of WoW Sweats who had nothing to do. They had nothing to do. Um, and I didn't want those WoW Sweats to go play something else and until we could raid because that would make people like Seer um, and all that jazz. The WoW section itself would be weaker. And that would make the people who we are waiting for not want to play if they don't see their guild online. I know that sounds dumb, but it has an impact. So that is why I allowed people who were max level to farm things. It matters. So you're right. We are were over geared, but it was either be over geared or we might not even see the raid. We barely made it. I wish Seer kept playing. Yes, yeah, Seer quit. Like, um, check Discord. Whoa. Hmm. A lot of Discord messages. Uh, these rules are way too sweaty for the normies. Like, imagine someone who never played WoW following these rules and everything. They don't know which raids are, uh, what and where you get the world buffs. Sardako doesn't seem to think of these players. Also, there are lots of sweats joining the Discord who don't even stream. Yeah, you're right. That's why I'm not really keen on the limiting of the Anixia and ZG buff, because that is something the new players are level one. So I'm not really worried about the max level stuff, because by the time they get to max level, they'll have a deeper understanding of the game. But while leveling, 
I want the minim minimum rules possible. No trading, except with people in the guild. No auction house. Only grouping with people that are SSF, like they have that buff. Those are like the three things. I, I assume that's all they have to do, right? That's it. Order will be really tough for the casuals, for sure, at raids. Again, that's at raids. Leveling, it'll be fine. I think they're welcome to take all the buffs. And I can also... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be in every raid, right? So I can manage who has the raid buffs when we're actually there. But you're right. Fuck, man. These normies. Or not, I, I don't want to call them normies. Non-WoW players. <sighs> it's going to be hard for them. This is an actual challenge. No mob tagging as well, yeah. Even, uh, even when the auction house was allowed, most players couldn't get to 60, like Mizkif, Emru, etc. You're right. You're absolutely correct. Ko was doing fine. Also, Miz, does it, Miz and Emmy don't count. I'm sorry. Um, like, okay, Christopher Yee is, in my opinion, the best example to go with. He did blow ass, but he also wasn't doing things just for the sake of content. Miz was. It was infuriating. Uh, yeah, fuck, I got to sit down and I got to think. Maybe I allow some people to, like, auction house some stuff. Maybe I make some exceptions for, like, super new players. Uh, maybe. I'll have to, like, go through and find... Like, the people who... Uh, I was... Matter. Um, is what I'll say. Like, they're at least 1k plus viewers. Like, they matter. Uh, for the raid. Sounds fucked up, but... I'll maybe give, like, a... I'll, I'll take away some rules for them. I don't know. It's a month from now. Give handicap gear, like, fiery enchants? Yeah, I could. You know, or just, like, say, hey, no rules for you. You're good. Do whatever you want. Doesn't matter. Just get max level. I don't care how you do it. Have your chat help you. No rules for you. Ugh. What about some kind of crafting, gathering, trading in the guild? No, you can trade within the guild. I do, I do really like that rule, though, because I do... Who was it that leveled their alchemy in the guild? And they basically didn't get to use it at, or utilize it at all? I forgot who it was. Some girl. Luna. Yeah. Um, they... Uh, yeah, they didn't even get to use their shit. Like, because we just auction housed everything. So... Allowing guild-only trading makes their there's a guild alchemist now there's a guild enchanter uh i don't what profession do i do hmm because yeah now it matters i guess for leveling i'm gonna do mining and mining and engineering oh man and now if we play horde i'm probably gonna play a troll warrior Hmm. Blacksmithing and Lionheart Helm recipe? Yeah. Probably engineering mining. That's what the sweats do. But yeah, I mean, I'm, gonna, I'm leveling a warrior, so it's kind of hard to not have a target dummy. Oh my god, they're not gonna have target dummies if they don't do engineering. Oh, this is gonna be way too hard for people. You're not wrong. You're absolutely right. But I, I feel like if we're gonna do only things again, it, it actually needs to be this hard. Otherwise, it's boring. There needs to be doubt that we can do this. Like, that actually has to happen. No quiz for me. I could make a quiz again. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to think about this shit more, I guess. I don't know. You'll have to be engineering and then maybe ditch engineering at max. Yeah, but then it's like, do we have an alchemist in the guild that's making elixirs for people? F maybe I go alchemy and herbalism. I don't think I need engineering, but it helps. Yeah, I got to get less sweats in the guild. You're not wrong. How? Let me see. What is... 
Let me go to the raid. I'm actually curious. Who was in our raid in Molten Core? Uh, only Fangs Molten Core. All right. I'm in. Every Shut up. Okay, so who do we have? Uh, Adamax. Annie was a sweat. Grayson's a sweat. Russell's not a sweat. Zico's a sweat. Who is Bug Guy? Is that Dizzy? I think it is. Who's Clams? Cobalt Streak is not a sweat, but he performed like a sweat. Seed Ink was a sweat. Miz was not. Ompy's a sweat. Cheesecake was not a sweat, but performed like a sweat. Corey sucked. Uh, Emmy Die sucked. S Fand is a sweat, but sucked because Rhett. Uh, Fandy not a sweat, but performed like one. Femboy, I think that was Will, sucked. Growl, sweat. Italian guy sucked. Jay, not a sweat, performed like one. Jimmy, not a sweat, sucked. Chris Freeze, blue ass. Llama dude, not a sweat, sucked. Shinya, sweat. Luna, not a sweat, but performed like one. Mary maybe sucked. Ozzy, not a sweat, but performed like one. Poke, his gear was bad, but did fine. Uh, Quarter Jade, who was Quarter Jade again? Wasn't actually Quarter Jade. It was some other person playing with that name. Masayoshi. Okay. Um, yeah, they performed really well. Rage Human. That was simply. Rav. Sardako's a sweat. Sniff? Who's Sniff? Who is this? Sniff Moore or something. That's Aethel? Okay. Sony's a sweat. Tank Tone. Tectone actually did a lot of damn. Uh, Viki, V the victim was a sweat. Wake was not a sweat. Wiggles. Yeah, half this raid are sweats. I want to say. Which is fine. I don't mind sweats if people like having them in the raid. Right? Um, as long as, like, people care. If they died, people were like, oh, shit, Zico died. Like, that's really what I'm aiming for. But obviously can't have all sweats because then no one's gonna die. All right. Yeah, we'll see how this plays out. Uh, 